Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today we're doing some testing to find out if the mass of your ship actually does affect the handling and speed of it. So when you start playing Elite Dangerous, you start to notice that no information is given on anything, not as much as it we would like to see. So this game is all about figuring things out for yourself. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Does the weight of your ship affect the handling and speed? That's what we're going to find out. And when I started this video, I had not a single clue, but obviously now I've completed the video, I do. And we're going to find out right now. So how are we actually going to be doing the testing? Well, we're going to be testing two ships. One's going to be the Eagle. One's going to be the Sidewinder. But the Eagle is the most maneuverable ship on the game. It's got 10 points to maneuverability. And the Sidewinder is actually the second most um, joint with the hauler, I believe. It's got eight hips um, or eight points to um, maneuverability so and um, you're thinking well how are we going to do this well we're going to have two versions of each of these ships one's going to be the lightest version i can create one's going to be the heaviest version i can create and basically inside these ships the two components that we won't be changing or the two internal compartments we won't be changing are the thrusters and the power distributors these things are going to be staying the same as these things are the main um, parts that affect speed and actual maneuverability so we're going to keep these the same also all power to the engines at all times so that means in the bottom right you know what it is um, all power so it's four pips to actual engines so we're going to be going at the maximum top speed we can at all times so we're going to go into the first test ship and this is the eagle this one you see in right now is the light version and we've got it at 67.3 tons for the mass no hard points at all and the internals as you can see have been changed quite a bit thrusters and uh, power distributor, as you can see, they'll be saying the same on this and the light version. So going over to the um, this and the heavy version, sorry, should I say. So going over to the heavy version, you can see we've kitted it out with three hard points, um, all of them weighing two tons, and that uh, utility amount weighs 1.3 tons, I believe. And the internal swapping out everything for the heavy versions, apart from the thrusters and power distributors, saying the same, and that weighs 102.8 tons. So that's about a 30 ton or over 33, 34 tons of difference right there. So that's really really big difference indeed considering that the light version actually weighs 67 tons you almost got more than half um, of that weight there in just added to the heavy ship so in the testing you'll be seeing the light version first and then the heavy version that's how the clips are going to roll so it's going to be light heavy light heavy light heavy light heavy and we're going to start off with the top speed so as you can see 245 meters a second in the eagle for the top speed and when we go over to the heavy version you can actually see 239 meters a second six meters more a second you're gaining not much there considering there is over 34 um, tons of difference but still a difference so weight is actually having an effect here and it is I mean what is that less than less than like three percent there of a difference but it's still there so make note of that weight will have an effect on your top speed so we're testing maneuverability in a specific way we've actually got a timer that's gonna start bang on at when I actually begin to move the mouse and I've got it down to the frame on every single clip so no worries there it's gonna stop bang on and when I actually finish the maneuver so we're gonna be testing one pitch and one roll however oh I should say two pitches and two rolls one of these um, one of these pitches is going to be at max speed one of these pitches is going to be at the blue zone speed which is I think 50 or 75 percent of speed I can't remember um, and also that's going to be the same with the roll so we're going to see a difference of course between the two and also between the two light and heavy so beginning with the first clip you can see that we begin to actually pitch upwards and pitching at full speed is crazy slow you can see seven seconds now and we're not even halfway so this is this is just completely unrecommended you generally want to be saying the blue zone all the time it's the perfect place where you can be turning that's why it's actually there to show you that it's um, actually um, the best place to turn as you can see 19.449 um, seconds there for the light ship turn rate so moving on to the heavy ship and as you can see the reference point I'm actually using is at the top of the planet and I'm getting as precise as I can and I've edited the video as I said before precisely down to each frame so this timing is you know only going to be like 0.05 seconds out at most so don't worry about that and as you can see returning around the planet it's almost at 20 seconds that's 0.5 seconds slower than the light version so actually that's five percent difference there not too shabby on that one and moving on to the um throttle version of blue zone and as you can see turn rate is unbelievably faster almost at five seconds it's almost complete and it stops at 7.533 seconds so that's 12 seconds faster pretty much than the um 
than the full throttle version so make sure you're turning in that blue zone so moving on to the heavy ship now and you'll be able to see what we actually use so again top of the planet is the reference point as you can see i've got heat sinks everything that bloody is in this ship is crazy and moving around and it stops at 8.399 seconds saying that is 8.4 seconds that is a crazy difference right there so that's about just less than 0.9 seconds i think that's a real difference guys that's something you want to be taking note of so the next part of maneuverability is of course rolling and we're actually just going to test it using the shadow point of the planet's reference point and we're just going to roll pretty much so first off we've got the light ship and we're just starting off again measured it frame by frame so no problem here 3.816 seconds there for that and moving on to the next one this is the heavy ship of course at full throttle and with that rotational speed is 3.849 seconds no difference there really i wouldn't recommend um hope i wouldn't say there's any difference there so moving on to the light ship the blue zone roll speed and this is actually does shed a bit of time of 3.299 seconds there so that's about um 0.7 seconds difference was it um not bad there for just being in the blue zone for rolling so as you can see that's actual noticeable difference and then again we'll move on to the roll for the heavy ship and this is in the blue zone again remember so 3.333 seconds and that is again point north north four on a point north four seconds there difference and i don't know if that's actually noticeable or not i don't know if that's going to be some editing difference there but you can take that as you will roll difference minimal however pitch difference very noticeable in the um, eagle so after the surprising results of that i thought i'd have to go and test another ship so that's why i went and tested the sidewind at night weighs 60.4 tons in its heavy mode of course i've got all the hard points on and the internals that stay the same are of course the thrusters and the power distributors so moving on to the light version of the ship and we've got 36.8 tons huge difference there that is um 24 tons that's 24 tons difference there and the actual light ship itself weighs 36 tons so a huge difference and again the um, thrusters and power should be saying the same so moving on to top speed how much of a difference is there well we got up to 220 in the heavy ship not too bad 220 meters a second moving on to the light ship and we get 225 meters a second not i think that's one meter less a second than the eagle's difference but still that's a difference it's a difference and it is minimal again in top speed but it is there there is an actual difference so we'll move on to actual pitching now and we're going to pitch at full speed heavy ship first and this is excruciatingly slow so i'm going to skip to the end for myself um, and it's going to be 28.349 seconds for that full pitch spin in the heavy ship and we'll move on to the light ship and this one was only a little bit faster or it was faster but 26.599 seconds so that is um 0.6 seconds slower um or 0 0.6, 0 0.6 seconds faster when you actually get in the light ship but when it's actually 27 seconds itself still it is a huge distance or it's a huge time constraint that um, pitching at full speed so we'll move on to pitching at um blue zone speed and this is where difference may be or may not be we'll have a look and this one is actually going to be 9.066 seconds in the heavy ship moving on to the light ship and it will start up again the reference point is the planet top remember guys planet top for the reference of the pitch and as you can see when it returns around it's 8.883 seconds and that is a difference of only 0.2 or a bit more than 0.2 is it um not much there i was expecting more there was a one it was almost a one second difference in the uh, eagle which is very very good however this difference is just really really disastrous really not much to point in actually making this the sidewinder lighter for pitching anyway but we'll move on to actual rolling now and we're going to be rolling at full speed first and rolling in the um, sidewinder i thought would be much faster but 3.983 seconds is the um, heavy roll speed and moving on onto the light version you'll see that again there is not much difference 3.899 seconds for the light ship so that's a point less less than 0.1 second difference it's there but it's really not that much of a difference um blue zone roll speed again the reference point is the shadow or actually i actually use the edge of the planet for this one um 3.583 seconds for the heavy ship and the um light ship is actually 3.59 seconds so Put less point nor five seconds difference on the sidewinder so as you can see guys eagle actually has a noticeable difference a noticeable difference that you may want to be taking note of with the mass of a ship but the sidewinder i would not bother at all so guys i want to know if you've tested this yourself go out and test this yourself with the biggest ship you can get and tell me what results you get because this is a huge surprise for me i was not expecting a difference i didn't think mass would actually affect um pitching uh rolling and speed 
but it does. It's very minimal right now. You know, things could change in the future depending on how this game goes, but right now it does affect it. On some ships, it's going to be completely unnoticeable. On some ships, it's going to be noticeable. Some t some ships, you're going to get a second difference in pitch time, which is crazy. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to leave a like and stuff, then please do. Again, check out my channel since I do a load of Elite Dangerous videos. And thank you very much for watching, guys. I will catch you all next time.